Welcome back. In the last session, we saw how to use the factory with the uh, data provider. So now it's time to see factory with dependencies. So what happens when you have dependencies in your test? Say, uh, like in the first test, we had certain dependencies, right? Like this, uh, our login method used to depend on registration. The reservation method used to depend on login and the checkout method used to depend on reservation. So it will execute one after the another. All the methods will execute based on their dependencies. And how to incorporate this with the factory? So we already have this factory helper class, which, which is creating two instances of this um, first test class and putting it into the single dimensional first test array. So this first test array has two elements in it and each element is an instance of the first test class and what this first test class is doing it is executing test based on dependencies so now let's see we have this test ng xml which is executing this factory helper and currently we are just executing with the suite name suite name one and it is executing this particular class so very simple test ng uh, xml we have Let's see how the execution takes place. Remember, we are executing for dependencies. Run as test ng XML. Okay, so here you can see registration one executed. Registration one executed. As expected, it is executing two, two times. Login one executed, login one executed. Each of the method it is executing two times as expected because we have two instances of first test class getting executed in factory helper. Now we don't want it this way because we want it class instance way, right? We want execution like first our method should execute registration should execute then our method login should execute then reservation should execute and eventually checkout should execute but it is not happening that way so what needs to be done in order to get test engine to execute it based on the class level so this is the way i will show it to you right now here just uncomment this i will explain you what this means in just a minute okay and remember to comment this uh, just a recap of xml the way you comment it is using greater uh, less than symbol an exclamation and two dashes and two dashes and greater than symbol to complete the tag so this is commented now and what what this sweet name uh, tag is doing is it has the name of suite one and it has something called group by instances and I have put it as true what this will do is it will execute all the methods in a class based on their dependencies for the first instance say I have factory helper and what this first instance will do it will execute all the methods in their dependency manner in the uh, based on their dependencies then it will execute the second instance again based on their dependencies so let's see how this works out whether we get our expected result or not so i right click again run as test ng suite and there you go you get registration um, uh, after that we have login after that reservation and after that checkout this is the way we wanted it right so we get our expected result and the way to achieve that is using group by instances equal to true so this is what is meant by group by instances thank you for watching this video see you in the next lecture